What is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and today we are back taking a look at the newest trailer for Need for Speed. Now, we're just rolling through some screenshots really, really quickly getting into the first part of the trailer. You can see some insanely customized cars. This E92 M3, um, this Porsche Cayman, I mean, Mustang, there's so many cool cars that, that they're bringing into the game, but not only that... The fact that you're able to take the cars from stock to the level of customization that you can. I mean, look at the look at the the, the livery editor, the wrap editor. That's the first time we've seen that, and it's just gorgeous. Um, and so is the 2016 MX-5. But still, I mean, even it's even more gorgeous when wide-bodied. I mean, Sabon Carbon, RWB, so much awesome stuff. And I mean, if you look actually on the top of the uh, of that MX-5, you can see a custom vinyl. Well. Kind of, it's kind of sort of a custom vinyl uh, of Mazda Militia, so it's just cool little details like that that um, that I think are really cool. I mean, you could make a matching first-generation MX-5 and a brand-new MX-5. I mean, how cool would that be to have matching, customized, first-generation and modern-generation MX-5s? I mean, that'd be legit. I mean, you've got the, the, the Viper GTS, you've got the ability to not only change whatever kind of uh, paint parameters you want, but you can also go matte, you can do, you can put whatever one of these vinyls on your car, create insane combinations, and, um, I mean, feel free to pause the video and just look through all of these vinyls that are, that are, that were on the screen back there, I mean, the combinations that you can get out of this live, uh, out of this rap editor are absolutely insane, they're pretty much limitless, and the designs that people are going to come up with are just off the scale. I mean, I'm I'm very excited to see what people are gonna uh, are gonna come up with and what people have in store. Um, the the actual performance customization is also is also on another level too from anything we've seen before because you can do everything from your block to your clutch to your handbrake cams. I mean, it's just absolutely ridiculous everything you could do. And each modification, each upgrade improves the car in a little bit of a different way so your build isn't going to be exactly the same as somebody else's build and you can adjust your handling style and individual characteristics or um or with the master slider so it all depends on if you want a more simplified tuning style or a very in-depth tuning style and i'm very curious to see how that works with the final product and with the actual handling model that they have in need for speed so I'm really, like I said, extremely excited to see where they go with it, and I think that this new, this newest trailer really, really brought together a lot of the new features that I was very excited to see, and um, I hope features that you guys were excited to see as well, because there's a ton of awesome stuff in this trailer, but if you guys enjoyed this trailer analysis, then don't forget to leave me a like, tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it, and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more, and I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later.